What's up everyone, Fong from Aerobolian. Uh, today I've got a whole guy Preza coming in for a front splitter. She wants kind of aggressive setup with some splitter rods and we'll see how it looks in the end. Yeah. How are you? <laughs> Haven't seen the car in a while. You got some wheels on it now. Yeah. That's cool. Front, so you said the front bar's in here, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Um, do you have to take the bumper off? I probably do. Do you Sorry. know if it's mounted any differently? It is. Yeah. Did you want it like outside and then come out more or just like stay the same kind of um, load? Mm. But you want the splitter rods, yeah? Yeah. You want the, the sticks going like that. Yeah. Did you want them kind of closer in like that? Mm -hmm. Do you want them angled or Actually, what do you reckon? Okay. Angled? Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. I can do that. All good. So I've just gone kind of all the way around, but instead of like indenting like I did last time, I just kept it all the way through. So that should give you enough space to have the rods coming out a decent amount. Yeah, that's cool. Then on the side here, <coughs> it's mm. like at a bit of an angle with your bumper. So for the fin, um, I just think it might look better that way. Yeah, maybe try something different from last time. is now firmly mounted. I've got those two spaces right there just to make it sit straight. Um, now I'm gonna figure out rod placement. I think she wants them slightly angled from under the plates so I'll do something like that. Rods are now completely on. Um, just gotta throw on the bumper and see how everything looks. Pretty stoked with how we came out, to be honest. This is a custom job, but I do already have the template for it. So if anyone's interested in the same splitter, or something similar, um, just let me know. Feel free to contact me and I can see what I can do. I already do have um, a splitter to suit this car on the website, but it does have a slight indent in the middle there, so it wouldn't exactly suit splitter rods. But yeah, feel free to check it out and let me know what you guys think. What do you think compared to the last one we made? I love this one better. This one better, yeah? It's a lot more aggressive, that's for sure. It comes out a lot more and on the front as well. Thank you so much. That's all good. Let me grab your keys real quick. That's yours. Oh, wait a minute. That makes sense. You got a wagon. You got a wagon fender. If you take a look, this fender's a lot wider because that's the sedan one. So this is how it should look, yeah? Yeah. But then this one's narrow. This one's like the same as my fender. It's because it's for a wagon. So you got the wrong one. Because it's, it's a bit short here as well, I noticed. And on the wagon, the side skirts come a bit higher. So it's meant to cover that, but on the sedan, it's a bit shorter. Yeah, they're hard to find, yeah. But it's hard to, even hard to find the same color as well. But it actually does fit, which is surprising. <laughs> if anything, this, this wheel, this fitment here is better than on the other side. <laughs> so maybe try to find another wagon fender on this side to make it even. <laughs> yeah, I do hear a leak coming from the front, but you can't really see anything because you have the whole plate underneath. Oh man. 
Sounds like a tractor, yeah? <laughs>